Today's video, we have career mode number three for the Ipswich Town career mode series. This series is where I'm taking Ipswich Town and I have put $1 billion into their team. With that, if you haven't seen the last couple of videos, go watch it before I spoil it. But other than that, let's head down into the career mode menu and let's see where we're up to after 10 matches of the Premier League. The last episode, we did lose a couple matches, as if you see here, in 10 matches, we have won three, lost uh, five, and drawn two. We are on 11 points, as in this video, hopefully we can win a couple more matches. But before we get into the next game against Liverpool, I have to do some training plans for our players. So I'll get this done and dusted for you guys, and I'll catch you down for the first kickoff against Liverpool. Right, it is match day against Liverpool. <laughs> As let's see how this one goes, as I'll be playing the full match for this one, as this is a crucial match for us to win. And also, I didn't forget to change the uh, the kit, as if you didn't know, in the last video, I versed Aston Villa, and we both wore maroon kits, and I couldn't tell who was who. And it was an absolute cluster of a video. Bad, bad stuff. But anyway, let's get the ball off of him, as, oh no, that could be a penalty. But the ref has said play on, we'll take that as what a save from Ramsdale. Oh no. Oh, they've scored already in the first eight minutes. I am so bad at this game. If you're wondering, the difficulty is on world class. So it's not on the easiest level, it's not on the hardest, it's just in the middle, but I'm so poor lately when it comes to this game. As that's an excellent slide tackle, as that will be our ball that came off of Pedro. Run it down. No, I was supposed to go to Salah. I accidentally passed it back. I didn't mean to. Those are the sort of things that cost us games. Oh, he's running in here. No, you don't. No, nah, he's way off. Alexander Arnold wasn't anywhere near that. Score it. Oh, Allison. Could have just let that one go through. Oi, ref. Yes, he's called that. Thank God. Oh no, oh that's gone in. Oh, that's disappointing. No, they've got another three ball. Oh, Ramsdale, love that from you. I'm just gonna boot it, we're not gonna win it anyway. There's only, what, two minutes left in the match. There's no chance we're gonna score two goals. Especially when this match is only three minutes. As that's the, pretty much gonna be the end of the match there. I'm not gonna control anything more. As the whistle is gone. Alrighty, first question from the post-match interview. How can Ipswich Town get a win? Uh, the players have to find a solution. They do, to be honest, because it can't always just be up to me. They need to pull their finger out as well. As that has put our uh, team moral down a little bit as well, to unhappy. Whoops. Didn't mean to, but anyway. Uh, what do you think went wrong today? Um, we just needed a goal when it mattered, yeah pretty much exactly what we needed. Uh, anyway, next question. Was today a defeat or a foregone conclusion? Uh, we made it too easy for them them to get behind us. Yeah, that will do. Right, after that match, we've got a player chat here. It's from Salah. He says, hi boss, I hope you don't mind me catching you like this, but the lads have asked me to talk to you. They're a bit worried that the club isn't meeting the demands. This doesn't feel like a team that's motivated to win anything this season. We are hoping you'd be able to let us know what uh, plans you have to improve the situation. Well, thank you for that, Salah. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know what to do. Maybe in the next couple games I might try to sign another player or so, but until then I'm not too sure. I'll just say thanks for letting me know. Alrighty, let's advance the week until the next game, and the next game will be against Manchester United. Here we go, game day against Manchester United. Can we finally get our win here? It has been way too long since our last win, as we need to put some pride back into our fans and back into our club. Alright, crossing it in. Get in the header, boot it. Oh, he's blocked it. What? I thought Ollie Watkins would have scored that. They had a defender right at the post there. I can't believe it. As this should go in. Oh no, maybe this. As, oh, he's gone for the volley, but he's missed it. Gibbs White. I thought you would have had it, man. Oh, as Manchester United won the match. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? We've lost another match. We surely would have to be in the bottom three teams now. 
This is poor. What is going on? We've probably got the best players in the league and we're playing like that. That is disgusting. Absolute disgusting stuff. After that match, I'm probably going to look to sign a new player. I already know who I want, so it's got to be a surprise. So once I've signed this player, I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, I've done something really big. As I've signed a new Cam player, and it is Jude Bellingham. I've signed him, hopefully, from Real Madrid. We just have to get through his contract first. As we did sign him so far for $190 million. And that does leave us with a budget of $100 million. So we still have time to sign another player. Maybe later on. Depends if we need another one. Uh, for Jude Bellingham's uh, contract, we are going to put him as a critical player. We need him on the pitch as much as possible. Although we won't have Jude Bellingham until the back end of the season. For his wage though... I'll give him something ridiculous. I'll give him I'll give him 300,000 cuz he deserves it and signing bonus. I'll give him 2 million, all right? That should do. Surely they will be reasonable with that. Come on. Give me it. Yep. Of course they will be. We've just paid a ridiculous amount of dollars for him. But anyway, here we go. Jude Bellingham has transferred from Real Madrid for 190 million dollars. He will be joining our team later on in the season as that was a B-rated uh, price. Not bad from me, as he will be an 88 overall heading into our team. Alrighty, it is game day. Just have to look at the squad. Looks like everyone is in top uh, form and health, so that is good. So with that, let's head down into the match day area. Let's go to the pre-match report. Crystal Palace has a 5-2-2-1 formation, and they've got to have a gig and press uh, formation as well on the pitch. But other than that, it is a home game for Ipswich. Once again, we are going to be playing some attacking highlights for this match. We've got a corner kick here in the first three minutes of the match. Let's see what we can do here. As Sal has got to cross this in. We've headed it. No one was there in the end. We've still got the ball, though, but we've passed it straight back to Crystal Palace. As we've got another attack and play here in the 18th minute. So it looks like Doku's got to have it. As, ooh, oh, we could have still had it. We still could have had the ball. It cut way too early there. As booted in. Oh, it's a bit hard of an angle to try to shoot it in. As Crystal Palace has scored. No, they don't. As more. Step it back, step it back, cross it in. Header it in. Boot it in. Oh, no, that means we're going to lose it. Oh, we've lost another match. That's about, what, eight matches now we've lost. What a disappointing match. Another loss. As we need to have a look at the standings, I'm pretty sure we're in the bottom three. As, yep, we've moved down to 18th. As we have a look, 13 games we've played, three wins, two draws, eight losses. What is going on? As if we look at the top... Uh, Man City's at the top on 31 points alongside Spurs and Newcastle United in third position is not far behind in 29 points. As I tell you what, I don't think we're going to be winning the league this season. I think we're way too far gone from that as all we need to do now is try to get out of the uh, relegation zone. So in the next game, we'll be in the next video against Brentford. So if you are liking this content so far, don't forget to like and subscribe below. But other than that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon.